Mexican Americans don't like to wake up early in the morning, so they do it real slow. <clears throat> Crow back here, back in Crow's back room. How you doing? Uh, just playing on my skateboard. But anyway, we got another alcohol review, and that is the limited edition Mike's Harder Prickly Pear. And he's got some headphones on there. Looks pretty good. Uh, doesn't look like he has prickles. It looks more like he's got metal studs coming out. But, um, Mike is still hard. I mean, I don't know what he's been doing. He must have taken a fucking whole bottle of Viagra. But prison is still hard. Um, I don't know why there's no women. But don't drink until you're 21. And, uh, if you believe it or not, I've never had a prickly pear. It actually is cracked open already. Um, haven't really drinking it yet. I just cracked it open for the video. I cracked it open and then I was like, oh shit, haven't hit record yet. Sorry about that. Y'all missed the cracking of the can. But this prickly pear. It pretty much tastes like a... Uh, like, I've never had a prickly pear, uh, in it, like a real one, so this tastes like a watermelon Jolly Rancher to me. Maybe a little more, uh, <clears throat> on the melon side, not watermelon, but more like, uh, honeydew or cantaloupe sort of way. I guess it tastes more like honeydew mixed with with watermelon that's the best way I can put it <clears throat> I'm gonna put that down for now just just in case you didn't get a good enough look got the prickly pear with the headphones this one I definitely like the flavor more than the pineapple punch that was rough to get through as you can tell it's the same day um, I know these videos are probably the third one from the first one is probably like two weeks apart. I never, I never know because I upload, ah, I upload so randomly. Can't stop burping. I feel like I need a dip. I've been back here for a while and I don't have a dip. And this might be like uh, some of my other videos, or actually one other video. I'll go from the back room of Crow's house to Crow's back room, which is a totally different room, believe it or not. Oh, shit. Bobby. I dropped Bobby there. Bobby likes to use two fingers. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Hope you can handle two fingers. What? <clears throat> Stoker's Wintergreen. This is actually the last of the tub. Can you believe it? I fucking killed that tub. But uh, I, I dipped a few things in between, so I would have killed it even faster if it wasn't for the other things, which was um, <coughs> Hagen. And I, I'm still not sure if I'm supposed to talk about them or not because all the YouTube um, strikes and things. Back in the day. <clears throat> but yeah. Forget um <clears throat> forget going to the crow's back room. We're just gonna keep it here. I'll find something to spit in. I'll tell you what. <clears throat> no clue, no clue. Hmm. I guess I'll just spit outside, you know. That's easy enough. <laughs> fix that one but yeah Mike's harder prickly pear I got enough taste out of it um, I'm definitely gonna finish it believe that I mean once I get this dip more situated I might be able to drink with it in I mean it is stokers yes I am a dipper that uh I don't struggle with drinking while dipping, but I don't prefer it. And 
and when I say drinking, I mean drinking anything, water, soda, alcohol, but <clears throat> I usually don't prefer it, but with Stokers, I mean, it's no problem at all. So it actually turned the wintergreen a little fruity there for a second. <laughs> Boy, uh, where am I going with this video? Prickly pear overall, I gotta give it. I gotta give it like a seven out of ten. Um, it's a little too fruity for me. I don't hate it at all. I mean, I I love it, but to drink like two of those would be a, a too much, too much uh, sweetness for me. Can you believe this? I'm just spitting outside when I could be spitting in one of my sexy mud jugs. Not a sponsor. But uh, Darcy hit me up. <laughs> uh, anyway. That reminds me, I need to talk to, uh, I need to talk to George from Tough Guy. But, uh, yeah. Definitely, definitely juiced up the stokers real quick. Bobby's the man. He, he likes to use two fingers. Uh, shout out to Wally. Again, uh, I'm drunk as fuck now, just to let you know. This video, the review, I mean, it's pretty much over. Uh, it's, I mean, you know it's 8% alcohol. If you've seen my last reviews... Um, it's a malt beverage, you know, premium ale, whatever you want to call it. Holy shit, things are falling over out there, man. I think there's a tornado. Fuck Hurricane Sandy. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> yeah, this video's gone long enough. Go ahead and pick you up some Mike's Harder Prickly Pear. Why you can. Limited edition. Shout out to Berg's Dip Reviews. Um, shout out to NC Dipper 18. Even though he's now known as NC Talk Sports. I believe. He hasn't made a video in a long time. <clears throat> At least that the last time I checked. But still, shout out to him. I used to watch him before I was even a YouTuber. Am I even qualified as a YouTuber yet? I don't know. <clears throat> if you think I'm a YouTuber, comment down below that I'm a YouTuber. Am I good enough? Am I totally enough for the Turtle Club? I'll see you in the next review. Hopefully it goes uh, a little smoother than this one. This, this uh, alcohol review was a wreck. I don't even know what the fuck I said in this whole video. But crow out.